Good day, Bearded Adventures. It is I, the Wizard of Fable Beard Company, where every beard has a story, and today we are talking about how to get your spouse to love your beard. Welcome back to another video. My name is Colin Gray from Fable Beard Company, where every beard has a story. If this is your first time to the channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button, as well as liking the video, and leaving a comment down in the comment section below because we love engaging with each and every one of you. Today's topic is going to be three tips to help your spouse love your beard. It may come as a, to a shock to some men, but not all women love beards. And specifically, if you've been married or been in a relationship for a long period of time where you didn't have a beard, suddenly growing one will come as a shock to your spouse and that is always not well received so how can, what can you do to combat this and overall make it a great bearded experience for both you and your significant other tip number one tell them nobody likes having a surprise especially coming from your significant other if you are thinking about growing a beard for the very first time tell your spouse about it let them in on it a few weeks in advance ask their opinions ask their input and overall tell them at the end of the day that you're going to be growing a beard because it's something that you want to try out and even though it may seem a little weird at first but to Give you, give you a little leeway and kind of roll with it and see how it goes. Often communication is the best tool in a relationship and simply by communicating this to your spouse instead of just springing it on them out of nowhere is often one of the best keys to success when it comes to growing a beard and having your spouse love that beard as well. Tip number two. Everybody loves a well-groomed beard and your spouse is no different. Chances are, if you're in this bearded journey for any specific length of time, you've heard of beard oil, you've heard of beard balm, and there are a ton of different companies out there and an even more wide array of scents to choose from. Now, when I was first growing a beard, I was very excited to try out several different companies before we created Fable Beard Company, and there was nothing like getting that beard mail in the mail and knowing that you're going to try out a new beard oil. But what's even worse is when you pop open that thing that you've been excited for, that you paid your hard earned money for, you smell it, you put it in your beard, it's great, you rub it in and you go up to your wife and you say, hey, smell this awesome beard oil that I just got. And they tell you, I don't like it, it stinks. Well, now you're left with a 60 day supply of beard oil that you don't even really want to wear because who likes having their spouse think that they smell bad? So chances are save yourself the headache and get your spouse involved in the scent buying process with you while you're purchasing your beard products. Don't just go, oh, hey, well, they may like this or they may not like this. Ask them. Chances are that they will enjoy the experience of buying a beard oil with you. Tip number three. Our final tip of the video goes to something a little more unconventional. Women have a routine when it comes to their beauty products, when it comes to their hair care, when it comes to their skin care, and overall getting themselves ready throughout the day. Every woman's different. Some women take five minutes of the day. Some women take an hour of the day to get ready and head out the door into their normal routine. Now, part of beard grooming and maintaining a well-groomed beard is participating in those grooming habits. Brushing, combing, beard oil, beard balm, how do you use the products? What does it take to blow dry a beard or comb through your beard? Have your spouse involved in that with you. Chances are you guys are going to have some fun in the bathroom of her combing out your beard, maybe blow drying it for you, putting in beard oil for you, and overall it's really a fun time. And you could even make a little bit of a mini date out of it too. So get your spouse involved with grooming your beard. Let her know what it takes. Let her know how important it is to you and 
get her involved. She's going to like it, you're going to like it, and you're both going to have a better time. Once again, my name is Colin Gray from Fable Beard Company, where every beard has a story. Thank you for tuning in for our three tips on how to get your spouse to better like your beard. Please leave a comment in the comment section below. Let us know how long you've been growing a beard. Did your spouse, all, was she always on board? Did it take some time for them to, to get used to the beard and the beard grooming products and things of that nature? And what were your tips for helping along with that process? It really helps a lot of new adventurers in growing a beard and having your experience to guide them is a great thing to have. As well, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you're a new subscriber. If you're interested in seeing any of our other bearded tips and tricks related videos, you can click on that button in the top right hand corner and that will take you to a playlist of all of our other bearded videos. As well, if you would like to try your hand at winning some free beard product from Fable Beard Company by participating in creativity and stories along the way, go ahead and click on that button in the top right hand corner and that will take you to a playlist of all of our current promotions, giveaways, and our weekly giveaway video on every Friday. As always, until next time, may your beard be forever blessed and treasure forever upon your door.